cholesterol did okay. Yeah, like 50, 50 likes, 54 likes, but like a bunch of... Have you heard of the dead internet theory? No. You know what that is? It's like uh, bots? Yeah, it's like, it's like internet, which is mainly social media, and like news sites, and like Google. Mm-hmm. They, they cre- they've made so many bots that the bots have created bots, and they're all just like liking each other's shit. And oh. viewing each other's shit, and also our shit, and so it's like that's the algorithm. It's just a bunch of bots. Oh, they're like they're like uh, comedians in Bushwick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shots <laughs> fired! <laughs> this is existence. Oh my chamber. god! Yeah, and okay. like each other's things. Yeah, that, to share each other's friends that real stuff. people do not enjoy. Well, I will say that is a conversation that I have many times where people are like, "Do you think sharing your friends' stuff actually makes a difference?" And I'm like, I don't, I think it used to, but not anymore. Cause fucking Zuck yeah. is tracking that stuff. So it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. You know? He's just, yeah, you're just sharing it to everybody else that was at that open mic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about, you want to talk about this? I feel like you have, uh, you have feelings about this. Is <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not criticizing anybody. That's just, that's just how I feel whenever I post things. Like my friends are sharing it. And I'm like, all right, cool. But it's just go like, it's just going to all of our mutuals. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, it's very hard to break out of like your our our like social circle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And even if it does, it's, just, it's like a little. It's a tiny bit. It's not even not even that much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like oh, I have one random mutual friend who saw this. That's cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But my last rule, it shows like the metrics. Yeah. And like uh, the majority of people who interacted with it were not following me. Yeah. There you so go. That's but good. it makes me think now. Going back to dead internet theory, how uh, many of those are bots? It's hard to say. Yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah. But I'll take those bot likes. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, like bot. I don't care. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do anything really for mm-hmm. content or for the clout. You know. Yeah, yeah. Bots can buy my tickets. You know, <laughs> I'll just show up and then it'll be empty. But I don't care. It's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> do Bushwick. Speaking of Bushwick Comics, Brooklyn Comics, they do that too. What? They'll like buy like your our friends would have a show and they're like hey low ticket sales let me and then someone else would be like I'll buy a ticket I'm not gonna go to the show but I'll buy a ticket why would they do that so oh it's, so you could like pay the comics or something pay the comics good it looks good for the venue like the venue's like oh this person bought it like their their ticket sales tickets oh. are moving oh it's I a see. nice gesture yeah yeah, yeah. what I'm telling if you guys aren't aware this is all comedy's all a sham oh it's we all started <laughs> what we, we've started we've, we've been pulled recording back for the, the last hour <laughs> oh no <laughs> ah, i started recording about the dead internet theory about that part well welcome to blunderbuss <laughs> we're here with uh art what's up and vic and art's cat who took a stinky shit yeah a real stinker it a still kind of smells yeah is it distracting you yeah your like cat it's... shits like a heroin addict <laughs> oh my god just just bricks. You mean a recovering heroin addict? Sure. <laughs> Isn't that a thing where like heroin addicts they like that's where the term shit bricks comes from, right? Uh, I maybe I thought I, shit bricks was like you're shitting a brick of heroin, like oh, like you maybe. had it inside your body, like like contraband. Yeah, that and also, I think uh, it's when you get off the heroin, uh, you're withdraw, you like you're constipated when you're on opioids. Uh how do you know? How do you not know this? Aren't you an expert in being in cool things? <laughs> no, somebody explains to me that when you're on heroin, like your poop solidifies. Oh, it's shit. like very hard, like a brick. And then whenever they shit, it's like shitting a brick. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's true. So it sounds like you're cooler than me. I don't know. I mean, all my heroin friends died <laughs> oh, no. years ago. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, do you know someone who? Uh, <coughs> they, they they were my friends, but I've known like um, a few people. Mutuals, you know. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know anyone. Like, okay, welcome to the podcast. It's about blunders, flops, <laughs> mistakes, and uh, it's a pretty big the flop. heroin. Pretty big flop. Yeah, the epidemic. Pretty big flop. <laughs> uh, pretty big mistake. Pretty uh-huh. big blunder. But yeah, I didn't know anyone in the during the epidemic. But I knew people in like high school who actually like OD. Like they were like the OG users. You know what I mean? Of heroin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it was rare. They were the OG heroin users. Yeah, what do the you ones mean? B- like they're pre- the first ones. Yeah, the first ones. They like <laughs> started heroin. the pandemic. Oh, oh. They were like Damn. just like partiers. You know, they weren't like they weren't like giving painkillers post wisdom teeth, and and got addicted. They were just like, oh yeah, I'll try that. You know, but like they were doing heroin. I think so. Shit. I mean, these were like people like 
not in my high school, but like yeah. like I went to a public school. You uh-huh. know what I mean? And like yeah. people I knew in public school before high school. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't like really weren't like my friends. But I was just like, oh shit, that sucks. There, there was a guy. Was. There was a guy that I went to high school with who uh, OD'd a couple years ago. Yeah. 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 I was I wasn't that <laughs> That's sad. That's the story. <laughs> you weren't that sad. No, nah, he was kind of um, kind of an asshole. Yeah. Shit. Because I, I remember I, I met up with my uh, high school friends yeah. like around that time that he passed. Right. And you're like, man, did you guys hear what happened to... Uh, um, Ooh, dox him. I don't want to dox... <laughs> Kurt. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I saw Kurt right there. Okay. And, uh, Kurt Anderson. And then everybody was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like a pause. And we're like, I think I was kind of an asshole, right? <laughs> and they were like, yes, dude, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And no one wanted to say it, but we were like, we're kind of glad he died. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That, I, I've been trying to work on a bit about how, like, if we want to, if we want to, like, be more positive about death, you know what I mean? Like, you know how there's a whole thing about, like, uh, having a better outlook about death? Instead of like just being just you have to be sad that kind of thing. Okay. Making it like a bad experience. Yeah. You know, like you know how there's like traditions that do like parades and singing and dancing. Right. Yeah. I feel like if we want to get there, we have to be okay with being like, I'm glad that person's dead too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you need the whole spectrum of like feelings of like, thank God that guy sucked. Like if Hitler died, yeah. you're like, thank I mean, God. You know. Right. Right. But uh, as you can, uh, as you guys can hear, well, not, unfortunately, not he's alive yet. and well. <laughs> yeah, he's Hitler's alive, alive. <laughs> and we're hiding him in my apartment in the attic. Would oh, you, how when, the tables have, tra- have when turned. When you're dead, would you want people? I'd be a little offended if people were like happy at, at my funeral. I, mean, I want them to be funny. sad. <laughs> I want no. them to be sad. Yeah, I feel like it's like a celebration of life. Like that guy was so cool. What a cool guy. Let's party. Let's go. You know. Yeah, but I want my close ones to be sad. <laughs> this, is, this feels like a narcissistic. You want so you want them to be so affected. Yeah, no, I don't want I don't want them to brush off my death. They're not brushing it off. Uh, they're yeah, like, I, I would want to be. They're mourned. pumped. They're like, let's go. Life was cool for that person. They're not like brushing it off. They're gonna be thinking about you forever. They're like, <laughs> what a great party this is. All in, all in Victor Van Trans. I I mean I suppose <laughs> that's I don't think that's what I would want though. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm taking a mental note to be to pretend to be sad at your wedding, yeah. at your funeral. Yeah, <laughs> be a little sad, but just know deep down I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hell we're yeah. about to tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring out the heroin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna be. Uh, have you heard of the Fent fold? That's a new thing. The Fent fold, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What is I've this? gotten in a weird part of TikTok where uh, there's like, I think it's a high school reaction thing, like a meme that uh-huh. high schoolers do. Uh-huh. But you know how like when people are are high on like opioids, they do like they have a they have a bend and they kind of <laughs> just sway. <laughs> there's I don't know how I got there, but on TikTok I've been getting like someone does something ridiculous and the reaction is a fent fold, a fentanyl fold, and they just <laughs> yeah. fold it over, just swaying. <laughs> And I don't know if it's a. I feel like it's a little offensive, but that's it pretty is. funny. That sounds like a Fortnite emote. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn, nice victory royale. Yeah, he hit the gritty, and <laughs> then he the hit gritty. the fent fold. <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's great. Weird, weird corner of TikTok I've made it onto. That can't be okay. You know what I mean? What? That's got to be offensive, right? To who? People who are addicted to opioids. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Every time we do this podcast, I'm like learning more about you. And I'm like, dude, this guy, he doesn't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> Which I love. But yeah, I want to be mourned. <laughs> no empathy for a middle America, but yes. Yeah. Uh, grieve me. Grieve me. <laughs> we'll all be fent folding at your <laughs> funeral. <laughs> Your open <laughs> cask is to be you fent folded. Fent folded. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, what are we talking about today? Graduation. Speaking of high school. Yeah, that guy who died is. Uh, <laughs> he didn't graduate. That's they, for damn sure. They, <laughs> he he was found like they found his body like by a like I think outside a gas station or something. 
Okay. It's kind of a yeah, kind of a sad story to be honest. I do feel a little bad. <laughs> okay, shit. What a, <laughs> but like his change uh, of heart. Yeah, <laughs> he, but he was like really popular in high school, and then like oh, uh, his okay. go, his GoFundMe. You know, I mean, he had I think he had trouble. He had like a troubled life, you know, sure. and like was hooked on uh, drugs, yes. phonics. Uh, it was hooked on you know drugs since for a long time. But, like, his GoFundMe said, you know, like, uh, Kurt will always be remembered, you know, by his his big smile and his ability to light up a room. And I remember reading that. I was like, oh, I don't know. I think he'll be remembered by being found dead outside a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you've been this way your whole life. This is how. This is who you are. This was circa 2021. <laughs> You're kind of an edgy guy. I love learning about this, about uh, you. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't like <laughs> I don't, that. That makes me feel icky. Well, uh, I will say being edgy in the past was uh, more acceptable. Now it's a little stigmatized. I do think it's funny that I, that's your first thought. Like, well, the more important thing that people are going to remember is uh, the, his magnum opus is uh, dying in front of a gas station. Magnus <laughs> opioids. <laughs> 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 there yeah, it is. maybe uh, maybe would have chilled out a little better. If you but anyways, know, yeah, uh, was uh, the reason I bring that up was yeah. I went to high school with them. Sure, which segues into this week's topic, graduation. Graduating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did he have a? I know this is a big thing in high schools. Did he have a little memorial, a little moment in, in the graduation for him? No, he died mm. way after graduation. Oh, yeah, yeah. He gra- he graduated okay. uh, with us. Okay, yeah. And you never liked him in high school. I actually didn't really know him that well. Okay. Oh, so you could have liked him. This, you guys, yeah. Actually, few, the, mo- the more I the more I talk about it, I have no reason to speak <laughs> oh, ill oh of his God. death. <laughs> Damn. And in fact, he seemed, by all accounts, he seemed like a pretty nice guy. Yeah. Pretty warm guy. I think I'm just resenting him because people liked him more than they liked me. You. Yeah. 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 This is this is you realizing, oh, I'm actually I actually am sad about this. And you're like start crying on, on cam. That'd be this No, is how you I, I wouldn't yourself. say sad. Okay. Um I don't really feel anything. <laughs> 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 but yeah, graduation. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, graduation as we go. Because it is graduation season. It is. Oh, what, been, what were you singing? Was that like a graduation song? Yeah, the graduation song by Vitamin C. You never heard that song? Uh-uh. As we go on, we remember. Oh. Not going to lie, I listened to that song like four do, times before, do, I, before we did this pod. To oh, get, yeah? To get in the mood. It's a did, good song. Did your class have a graduation song? We did in like eighth grade, but not high school, nor did we have one in college. Yeah? Yeah. We had to, in high school, we had to vote on our graduation song. What was it? It was... Between Miley Cyrus's "Party in the USA," oh my god, or a timeless song. Let's be yeah, real. Yeah, I think that was it. Or or Aerosmith's um, "I Don't, don't Want to miss, miss a Thing." Yeah, yeah. Two really bad choices. Your high school sucks. You know, like that losers. Aerosmith song. That song rules. It's an okay song. It's not that good of a song. When I close my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to miss a thing. That's about him and his like twelve year old daughter girlfriend that he like took ownership over. Really, I thought it was about Armageddon, the movie. Yeah, what is Armageddon about besides dating a four twelve year old woman? <laughs> it's all a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> it's all how your world is actually crashing down, uh, and this is the only way. You can My world's about to salvation. end, but hers is just about to begin. <laughs> yeah, I gotta save this for her. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that those are that those are the songs that you guys and I think there was a Black Eyed Peas one, right? Okay. Oh, I remember that was that I I I had the time, time of, of my life. Oh, it's the remix version of though. It, was that a remix? Did that song need a remix? Yeah, because that's a and I swear this is true. Oh, that's a that's like an '80s song. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, but. you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Blunder on your end. What a dumb three choices <laughs> of songs. Yeah, my high school wasn't classy. <laughs> yeah, you guys we were shot lame. an episode of Sixteen and Pregnant there. <laughs> so <laughs> Yo, did did that did that girl bring the baby to the graduation? She was a couple of classes younger than me. Did she drop out? Uh I don't think so. Oh, so she probably brought the baby. Oh shit. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> got a little graduation hat. Yeah. For the baby. Yeah. Gives a speech. That's yeah. funny. Do you have any good superlatives in high school? Oh, I got an offensive one. Oh, offense. <laughs> yeah. I'm not lying. You, you want to know what my superlative was? <laughs> it was most likely to be a spy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow I'm not joking Wait did people vote on this Like people were like Wrote in Yeah And like did you get Like they wrote it in Or was that Has that always been The You know what I mean Like has this been traditional Like year to year It's always Most likely to be on SNL Most likely to uh, be a spy I gotta say That was the first time I heard of it <laughs> <laughs> They made one They should have just given you Most likely to be Chinese Like that would have been <laughs> <laughs> Yeah yeah He's probably He's something <laughs> Yeah, at the time I thought that was cool, but now I didn't understand the racial implications at the time. Right, you thought it was cool? <laughs> I was like, oh, because I thought, oh, most likely it would be a spy. I James thought like Bond. 007. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ethan no. Ethan Hunt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not at all. No, they uh-huh. meant like literally like you have a, a spy satellite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a Chinese spy <laughs> yeah. balloon. Like you go home and you like close all the blinds, you look around, and you turn on your webcam and you, <laughs> you log yeah. into a VPN. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk to the Supreme Leader. Like they gave me most likely to be a spy because they couldn't vote me most likely to be a creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's not even racially so yeah, motivated. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> Were you creepy in high school? Uh, most likely to be. I a mean, creep. in the That's way, crazy. in the way that everybody else was, I think. <laughs> okay. What do you, what is your conception of how everyone else was? <laughs> Listen, I'm not about. gonna incriminate <laughs> myself in my own podcast. Oh, what a spy! Wait thing till to we do. get a few more up, uh, a few more bot listeners. That's for the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll admit to uh, all crimes on our Patreon. Um, yeah, not that that's I. So funny. I love how you at your first thought you're like, oh yeah, it was a racial thing, and then you thought about it and you're like, wait, no, actually, <laughs> maybe I was a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you have any superlatives? We did have superlatives, but I'm gonna be honest. Everyone, literally, <laughs> everybody. In my high school, got a superlative besides, except for me. How did how could everybody have a superlative? There wasn't like that big of a class. It was like not every okay, not everybody had a superlative. You but got, like most yes, kids got something. Art got voted least superlative. <laughs> <laughs> this is a take guitar joke, but it was like I got voted uh, least likely. Okay. That's oh it. shit! I'm a hack. <laughs> You're a hack. Sorry, Tig. Sorry, Tig. Yeah. He yeah. Did it first. Damn. Um. But no. Well, I wait till I get breast cancer and a double mastectomy. Yeah, and uh, let Louis C.K. jerk off in front of you. That's how you. That's how you do it. <laughs> you know Louis C.K. She, she, he that she was one of the women that got jerked off in front of. No, but she he like. She was like, her. "You'll never jerk off to this <laughs> rack again." <laughs> You're a bad guy, you know? You're just a bad dude. <laughs> but that, that that is what she said. Uh wow. no, she uh he like was really big and then he was like, Hey, check out this special and it was Tic Tatar special. I remember that, yeah. And it like blew up. Yeah. But then he stole her clown I to hold. Do you know the Tig thing? Tig Louis C. K thing? I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not invested enough tits. in Tig Nataro. Sorry she's not a woman with huge tits, that's all you care about. I and Louis C.K. Hey, <laughs> I, hey, I used to like her. <laughs> I used to be a huge fan, actually. I know. Well, she never would have liked you because she's a lesbian. Remember that bit that she did on Conan where she's like pushing the chair al- around? Yeah, it's a classic Tig bit. Oh, man, it's so good. She should change her name to Tit. <laughs> Reclaim it. You know yeah. what I mean? Sorry for those breast racists. <laughs> <laughs> Braces. Braces. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I didn't get a superlative. Uh, kind of a bummer. I was, uh, I felt like a pretty left out kid. Also, like in the in the yearbook, if you yeah. if you go back to uh, the index of everyone, you can see like like Kurt Anderson and like all the pages that they were on, like picture wise. Mm-hmm. And everyone had at least four pictures. Me, two pictures. One, my actual yearbook photo. And the other one, yeah, just cross country or something. Damn, <laughs> so I, I was the only. Literally, I, I flipped through the whole thing, like the whole index. Yeah, I was the only one with two picks. So Same thing kind of happened at my high school. Like the cool kids at the school, they yeah. were called the crew. I think <laughs> the the guy who died, crew. I think, was part of that. Oh, but they shit. like they like they were all in yearbook club. Yeah, they were all intentionally in yearbook club. So, you can, so like they can leave a legacy. Yeah, the entire yearbook is just them. That's. Yeah, I'm glad this guy's dead. <laughs> but pretty pretty savvy move on their part. 
Yeah, it's good. It's good PR. Yeah, the yeah, crew. it's actually pretty impressive now. We called our kids it. the CKs, short for cool kids. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 this yeah. Is yeah. This is the, the Louis CKs. Okay, Louis cool kids. <laughs> the height of his popularity was when I was in high school. Yeah, that makes this makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, high school graduation, yeah, it was pretty chill. My valedictorian quoted Yoda. Oh, boo. Yeah, kind of a try lame. Try or, or do or do not. There was no try. How'd you know? <laughs> no, it was, Luke, you have to use the force. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Sorry, great. I just really like Star Wars. Anyway, good luck out there, class of 2011. No, it was do or do not. There was no try. Wow. Oh, we're both class of 2011. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're the same fucking age. Yeah. We're 23 years old. Then we moved on to college. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you valedictorian do anything cool? Anything, any fun? Our valedictorian? Yeah. Um, my Our valedictorian was like a harp player, I think. Ugh. And she, actually, that's uh, actually kind of sick. Actually no, sick. yeah, she was really sweet. It was it was yeah. funny because she, she was like um this, this white girl. Played the harp, Ooh. and she was really sweet and really nice. White and girl who whole, plays the harp. Could have yeah. just said girl who plays harp. I would have known. Would have yeah. known immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, her, her family was really nice, and her mom was sweet. And, like, that baffled all of the Asian kids who were, like, ranked, like, 5, 6, oh, 7, they're 10, jealous. 11. Yeah, they, they just couldn't hilarious. get their mind around, like, she's smarter than all of us, yeah. and she comes from a loving, supporting family. Where he's like, they would go home. They're like, we could have had that. Yeah. Mom and dad. Yeah. Like all that bullshit, yeah. all that bullshit in yeah. Asian American culture with the tiger moms yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. pressure. It's all fake. Totally unnecessary. Very militant. Yeah. Yeah. That's so they, funny. They could have had a childhood that was nurturing and they would have done right. even better. They could have found like actual hobbies. Like if they all yeah. just played piano, like, oh, I could have played the drums. Yeah. Yeah. And even in orchestra, she was smoking them. Yeah. She was playing the harp and they were. But okay. I'll say this though. I'll say this though. All right. right? There's only one harp white girl valedictorian. How many, like, number two, number three, number four were like, a- Asian people? It was most, mainly Asian people. Right, yeah. If you probably you broke go. down the top ten, there's, you know, Asians are probably overrepresented. Right, so that, that I'm saying the system works because it gets you up there. Maybe not get you number one because that's a, at that point, it's all just kind of a fluke. At you know what, what I mean? cost, though? It's worth it. <laughs> it's like, look, it could have been done without all this bullshit. Look, I think being traumatized is worth it if you get to be number one in your high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. I think being hit for not getting an A plus and an A minus, uh-huh. it's worth it. Because then you just stay on stage and you get to quote Yoda. That's pretty sick. That right? is embarrassing. <laughs> that is embarrassing. <laughs> no, our dude was also a white guy. I'm so, glad I did not Seth. have a... Actually a cool guy. I like him a lot. Seth, if you're listening, miss you, buddy. Yeah? What's he up to now? I think he literally got a PhD in physics and now is a scientist like a physics scientist like a rocket scientist like literally rocket scientist like his dad oh, who's wow. also a rocket scientist oh okay well that's not fair and his mom all. was a doctor yeah pretty cool family pretty yeah. chill wow. anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry for derailing what you're about to say no i yeah that's i don't remember where did you, where did you graduate in high school what rank do you know your rank uh i think it was like i was right outside like i think i was around like 15 percent like oh top fifteen no fifteen percent <laughs> like the lower percentile like oh yeah <laughs> wait what are you talking about wait what do you mean fifteen percent what do you what, what does that mean like I was between I was between top fifteen and twenty percent of my class oh that's pretty good I forgot my ranking though oh yeah yeah because yeah. we I, I graduated with like oh you're good at school eight hundred kids yeah wait that's impressive what top fifteen percent of your class. 15, 20%? Yeah. That's good. I guess. What do you mean? Were you good at school? I was good at tests, but I was bad at like the day to day. Like, like I would never school? go to I would never go to class. You'd skip class? Almost school? every day. How'd how'd you, out of system. How'd you not get in trouble? Um, well, <clears throat> uh third period was the only period where the the attendance would be uh counted by the district. So as long as you attended wow. third period uh, the district would not count it as an absence. What the hell? So the hell? state, you, you would never get in trouble with the state. Wait, this is this is crazy. So yeah, so I would just go to third period, and then my other classes, I would fuck off. And <laughs> what? then uh, they had that automatic system where they would call your house. Yeah. If you missed a class, you'd be at home. No, well, oh. it was 
like we would get that call every day. Yeah. So it's easier for for me to be like, oh yeah, the system's S- fucked up. Like yeah. there's no way I'm missing school every day. But in reality, I was. Wait, I didn't know this. This is crazy. Yeah. Is that illegal? Like you? I guess <laughs> is, it, what is skipping school illegal? No. I, I is is it <laughs> fucking nerd? It's got to be. No, I think in Nebraska <laughs> it is illegal to skip school. I mean, I think if you're if you're not attending enough, you you will like get called like juvenile court. Uh, I think it's like literally illegal. What? Like you have to go to school, at least in Nebraska. I think you literally have to. But at I, least in public I, school, I would. I, yeah, I was in public school. I would skip a couple periods a day. That's crazy. Whoa, pretty, I can't even imagine. I went to. Cool I went to. Me. I've never. I never skipped school. Well, yeah. Well, now. I never. <laughs> yeah, but now, like, look at where you live. You have a much <laughs> nicer <laughs> place than I do. Do I? I mean, <laughs> I got. This is lucky. <laughs> no, it's not lucky. You went I knew to class. <laughs> I it it, it was one of my biggest regrets because I also in wow. college I also skipped class a lot. What you it do? Is so dumb. Smoke weed? No. <laughs> it was one of the movies. Call me a nerd. You didn't even smoke weed. You went to the movies. I, I just I just can't <laughs> sit in class. I wish I went to school after the pandemic because I like online school. I would have crushed. But like but you I, you I could not sit in class. It was horrible. You wouldn't have done online school. I you would not have. I would have. You would not have sat and watched online school. I know you would not have. Yes, I would have. I can't imagine you, if you can't go to physical class. You're not gonna turn. You're gonna like be gaming. It was this. It, no, it was like literally sitting in class for like two hours. Wow. I could not, I could study on my own. No problem. I was like good at taking tests. Wow. But like sitting in class was like it felt like torture, like ants on my body. It is. It is not fun. I'll give you that. But sometimes you don't. You never felt like oh, this is actually kind of interesting. The teacher's actually talking interesting things. I, I, like let him cook. I, Mr. Wit, you're cooking, baby. Oh my god, it was like a physiological like yeah. repulsiveness. Whoa, I hated it. Do you? Have, you don't have ADD. I might. I don't know. I never got tested. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get tested whenever you have ADD. It's like right. you can't schedule the appointment. Right, right. right. But you I don't know if I have ADD. I also I resent ADD. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's become such a trend on TikTok. Yeah, you know, it's like fuck it. If I have it, then I have it. Right. But I'm not. See, ADD is lame. On t- like that's one of the TikTok things that you can be diagnosed for. That's lame. But what's cool, you can di- be diagnosed for autism. That's cool. That's a, that's a TikTok thing, and you can do that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, like self-diagnosing autism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like if you. Oh my god, I like hate a I hate a food texture. Therefore, I have autism. <laughs> like oh, I don't like a slurpy thing. Like oh, I guess I'm. Oh autistic. yeah, it's like overplayed. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. ADD Anyways, well. yeah, I I uh, almost didn't graduate high school actually. Because you skipped so many classes. Yeah, I had to like make up a ton of hours. In like summer school? Uh, summer school wow. and then also towards the end of uh, wow. senior year and I think junior year both. I had to like um, stay after school and like do a like sit in class. and. But your grades were good. They're okay. Yeah, I was like in like pre AP AP classes some some AP classes. Yeah. Oh my god. So if you like if you like actually worked at this, do you think you would you'd be killing it in school? Um, I guess so. This is so interesting. This pause about you now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to get back to graduation. No, no, no. This is this is fascinating. I, I, you blundered your life. <laughs> <laughs> your whole life is a blunder. <laughs> you never went to school ever. I just, I don't think. I don't know. I can't think of like what would have happened if I was more studious. Because then, you know, I would have been a completely different person. Yeah. So who who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I care. <laughs> it's just insight. But I, I will say, if I ever gave advice to like a student or yeah. something, my biggest advice is like, do not skip class. Like, wow. it will fuck you up, especially in college. Like, I, I, I didn't, yeah. Let's talk about college. I, I, it took me like six years to graduate college because I, I didn't know you took se- what? You're super senior, super super senior. Oh uh, yeah, like what super the hell? super saint god senior. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got the blue hair. It took me fucking forever. Blue hair and the glasses. It's yeah. a community college move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what every community college kid looks like. Yeah. Wait, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, also, who graduates in four years? Did you graduate in four years? Yeah. All of my class. My whole, all my friends. Well, I mean. <laughs> what the hell? Well, <laughs> well you went to Tulane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went yeah, to I went, U of yeah. H. I went to like a commuter college. Wait, 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 okay, let's back up. So you. What's the University of Houston? This is fascinating. Go Cougs. I, <laughs> 
<laughs> Goku's. You're obsessed with Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Wait, no, Goku's. That's no, our. Oh, Goku. <laughs> oh, Goku. <laughs> no, Goku. Dude. I mean, Kesha, yeah. Super Saiyan. <laughs> Is this what the coups were? Yeah. The shocker? <laughs> Yeah, it what was the, the shocker, fuck? yeah. Dude, your life is unreal. <laughs> because, this is crazy. Because the, uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. Our college mascot hell? was a uh, a cougar, and the reason why it's this is because um, like one of its fingers got cut off <laughs> in a fuck? cage. And then so, like, this you guys had a real cougar? adopted this as the, uh, yeah, we had a real cougar as our mascot. I'm not being sarcastic. What the fuck, Yeah, dude? and then they changed it to, like, uh, a person in Damn, a... What Tiger King Israel. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. crazy to hear. Wait, okay. So I want to hear more about how you were a super senior. So you just didn't go to class. You almost failed out of college. Yeah. You you didn't drop out. I did were not you, drop out. Were you, did you, you did full time all six years? No. I, 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 a couple of years I did part time. Okay. Yeah. Were you working? Yeah, I was working. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're like, I just want to like, you like didn't like school. You're just like, I hated what school. am I doing here? I hated school. I worked with my dad. I had a whole system. I had a whole system of like getting a perfect <laughs> schedule to where I'd have a ton of free time. <laughs> oh my God. Because like, look, check this out. So so I used to work at my job. <clears throat> Wait, this They're, is so They were pretty lenient with sure. my like, uh, like balancing my work schedule with yeah. my school schedule. So I would just have to turn in my school schedule at the beginning of every semester. Okay. And then what I would do is uh, I would sign up for like all these classes, <laughs> like 16, 19 hours worth of classes. Wow. And then I would show that to my manager, who's my dad. And then uh, they would they would just give me like, you know, a very light schedule, yeah. you know. And then, as soon as I would get my work schedule, I would go back into the school oh, system and change drop all those it. classes. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a bad kid. I had, all, I had all these systems for not going to class. Just avoid that, dude, school. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Bro. There's more. I want to hear all of it. I'm I did fascinated. like I did like insurance fraud. What the? You shouldn't <laughs> say that. Don't say that. That's for the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. hell? Mm-hmm. Did you fraud? You frauded. A, you were a con artist. You're a con man on a very like small scale. Well, not not to other people, just to make your life better. Yeah, this all this all coming together. Yeah, you're like, all right, let's let's do the. Couch. But it was not wise. Let's do the couch. Let's do let's do one camera. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is good. This, this is, is good. good. This yeah, is good. Yeah, yeah. It's just funny. Uh huh. It's just funny that you are. You're. I feel like this is this is a good thing to like convenient your life to like optimize your life. <laughs> I this guess is a so. good. This is a good way to think. Yeah. You know what I mean. I suppose, well, it took me forever to graduate, and I racked up probably a lot more in loans than I needed to. Oh, you took out, wait, is you But I was H? also paying as I was. Is that a public school, U of H? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what does public school mean? Like the state, like if you live in state, the tuition's much cheaper? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I lived at home, too, so I saved some oh, money. Oh, I saved money, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Did your dad ever find out about this? No. <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore. What did you do? So you went to watch movies and like you were you playing tennis? Like what the <clears> hell were you doing? It was all a blur. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing even nothing even worthwhile. Just like sitting around? You'd just be out and about? Like would you be hanging out with your friends? Yeah. Just be wow. like out and about. Were they busy? Were they also duds as well? No. Were they also washed up losers? Well, as I was well? <laughs> that's when I was like doing comedy because I started doing oh, comedy in, like when I was nineteen. Oh, okay. It's all coming together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So there was also that, like uh wow. I was doing comedy every night in college. Yeah, we, have, we have very different experiences. In, yeah, well yeah, you life. had like a healthy like you, I you did it was right. It? I don't know if I don't it's know smart. say it was healthy. Well, I would say I would I mean, say it was very stressful. Like I had a very stressful high school. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I had a great time as well, but yeah. also there were many moments where I was like, "Man, I fucking, I don't know if I'm good at this. I don't know. There's a lot of like, I gotta fucking study. Like, I gotta stay up super late. Like, I gotta like learn right. how to do this. Like, I gotta like do. It was all like my systems were like, how do I get good grades? Right. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> but that's what you're supposed to do. But for what? You know what I mean? It was a big regret of mine that I did not. I mean, yeah, that I fucked around so much. So your regret, your regret is mainly, and I wasn't even partying. That's that's the shocking thing for me. Yeah, you could be dead at a at, in front of a gas station right now, and I'd be like <laughs> partying, celebrating uh, yeah. your life, pretending to be sad. I wasn't but- even doing that. I was doing open mic comedy. <laughs> but that was that's cool. You're chasing your dream. Yeah, in a way, you're doing college. It the college it, of life. Yeah, yeah, it did pay off, I guess. 
<laughs> but do you think do you, is your regret basically not doing school in a way that would have led you to a better job? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. And it, yeah. Yeah. And I have like student loans. <laughs> That's this is all fair. Right. This is all fair. Okay, I get it now mm-hmm. in a way. And I do feel like I I could have done a lot better. Like if I was more disciplined, I could have done uh much better. I could have had better grades like, I, I i wonder what i could have done you, you feel like you're just potentially you could have <clears throat> tapped into you didn't tap into yeah 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 i will say there's but a lot at of, the same time i don't think my personality would have liked whatever i could have done anyways well i wonder if you would have like studied something that you would have liked that would have helped you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. probably not i mean yeah. i don't know well what that's why i don't have regret like i don't have <laughs> my dad always gets mad he always asks me like He's always disappointed that he always says like, "God, I just, I just wish that you finished school." <laughs> and it was fucked up. It was like, "I did. You finished? School. Yeah, yeah. I graduated. I have a degree. You, you, you know? have it hanging. Yeah, on a wall. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't. In his bedroom. My <laughs> degree. Like, this is how little I gave a shit about college. My degree is still in the FedEx pouch that they. You s- haven't opened it. I, ha- I don't know where it is. <laughs> Well, Vic, I actually have a surprise for you. <laughs> I just pulled it out. That'd yeah. be pretty sick. I never, I never even looked at it. Like it's still yeah. in the FedEx. Like, I mean, to be honest, I got mine. I, I like, it, well, especially for grad school. Like, it, I just really did not care. Like, I just like got it. I gave my parents. Like, Here you went you go. to grad school. I went to grad. You didn't know this? I went to grad school. Oh, oh I guess I have a third, you. third graduation. High school, mm. undergrad, grad school. Yeah. Did not go to my grad school graduation though, because I did not give a fuck. Sorry, buddies. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like after you've done a few yeah. now. Well, also, you're grad school's so quick. You're you're in, in and out in two years. Like there are people in school that you're that they are about to finish in like a semester. Like it, everyone finishes at a different time, you know. So you're not you don't like have a class in a way. Right. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of just bullshit. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But well, a lot I, of my friends walked and stuff. Wait, did you walk? Yeah, I walked high school and a uh, college. College. Yeah. Did you? And were your parents at the graduation? They were. So how does your dad not know you? finished i don't know <laughs> sounds like your dad should have worked harder in school <laughs> you know what's funny is uh my my cousins are graduating from law school nice. um in a couple months or in a month actually and um <clears throat> their younger sibling is graduating from undergrad in san antonio okay so their dad is going to go to the undergrad graduation and then me and my dad are going to go to my cousin's law school graduation Oh, okay. And it's like, well, why'd you work so hard? Your dad's not even at your graduation. At your graduation. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about, dude. It's about your dad's coming to the Yeah, place. it's like, <laughs> wait, what was the point? You know what I mean? Whoa. Damn, do you remember your graduation? Uh, Yeah, my college graduation? Sure. Yeah, I remember because uh, I was super stressed out because of the night before... Uh, this is all sham. I didn't actually do. I didn't actually graduate, dude. <laughs> I tricked everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like, to be honest. I st- I still have nightmares. I still wake oh, up. Oh, graduation! I still have stress wow. dreams about waking up and like, Wait, fuck, I'm facet. not gonna graduate. Wow. Yeah, but it, but it's like wow. the same dream of like, um, uh, I didn't have enough hours. Oh. Dude, in high school. Wait, this is crazy. In high school, uh, we had like this uh, exemption rule where like if you. Uh, if you maintained above like an 85 average okay. and also missed less than three classes, yeah. you didn't have to take the final. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. 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 And so in, I, I was like in uh, like AP computer science or something. Whoa. And then they were like going, Sick. They my, my teacher was going down like uh, the, the roster yeah. and was like counting how many absences everybody had. Oh. And so she'd Shit. be like, Adam, two absences, <laughs> you're exempt. Jennifer, four, sorry, you have to take the final. Victor, 16 absences. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm taking the final. <laughs> did, someone, uh, did someone in the uh, the class go, ooh? You know, like, that's a, that's a heckleable. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty noteworthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, one time, one time. Uh, that's crazy. How big are your classes? Just out of curiosity. Uh, just like, average. It was like pretty 30? big in high school. Yeah, like 20 40? to 30 kids. I, wow. I started pulling my friends out of class. Because, like, I, I would bring, I would bring crutches to school. <laughs> oh, my God. And then I would, like, crutch, I would go and to like, their class and then crutch in and yeah. be like, hey, uh, David. Uh, Can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would know. Like David has to help me get to my next class. 
from a and duck. He, yeah, duck and then he would like pull. I would pull them out of class, and we would just go that's fuck off. Sick. You're yeah. very. That's very Ferris Bueller. That's <laughs> yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. It's, we systems. just went. We had such different experiences. Yeah. I think if I were you, if I were you in high school, I'd probably be doing shit like that. Because the reason why my parents sent me to a pro- public school, private school from a public school is because I was like undisciplined. I didn't have discipline. Really? Yeah. Oh, like uh, I was hanging out with kids. They weren't bad kids, but they were just like so they were just yeah slackers and like rowdy. Like they would always they were like the types who like love motorcycles and fucking like they have like chainsaws that they would, they oh, would use. Oh, bro, you would have been <laughs> so cool. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they they sent me to a school that everyone was working very hard and it fucking worked on me because like, I just I'm a very a, a person who's like I'm a sheeple. Whatever you guys do, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm fitting in, baby. Yeah. And so it worked on me. Yeah. So like. My high school absences, not even a question. Like everyone was there every single day. Wow. Most of the kids, most of the kids, like maybe eighty percent of the kids, I would say. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, you know, it takes it's a village. So, it's just so fascinating to hear this. Like this is such a high school experience. Like you had I, a real high school. experience. I also feel like my attitude towards school was also sort of formed like, like I think a part of me was rebelling against like the Asian mm, stereotypes sure. that are very studious, right. and then I kind of wanted to. Like subconsciously get away from that, yeah. Which I regret. Did because now I feel like they're cool. Were your parents like intense about school? They they stressed it, but they were so busy in their own lives that mm, they like, couldn't like they couldn't really monitor you. the way that um like they couldn't be on my ass on. the way that they needed to be. Right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. And and I like uh like my report cards. Um, I didn't know how to use like Photoshop or anything. So I uh and back in the day Photoshop wasn't isn't what it is now. Yeah. We yeah. don't have AI, uh-huh. all right? <laughs> and they they would need to be signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I would do is I would uh get my report card, I would scan them and that would open up in like oh Microsoft my. Paint. Oh shit. And then I would shit. zoom 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 and then Hands change and the uh the the numbers. Oh, you're a real that's that's how it's supposed to be done though. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. you're a real you're a real con artiste. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not yeah, a con yeah. man, con artist. Yeah. And yeah. and the the icing on the cake is that's I would crazy. zoom in, I would white out, I would, you know, blank out the numbers. And instead of like Oh my god, you would instead really, of using the instead of using like the the like the system fonts. Yeah. Because it wouldn't match no. like the other fonts. You would change everything. No, okay. I would go to my other scores, copy and paste, copy the number, the digits, and then put it into Holy shit, dude. the empty boxes. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, you're you're a bad kid. Is that bad? It's just like well, mischievous. Not, yeah. Well, yeah. I wasn't hurting. You anybody. were lying. I was lying. But yeah. you could argue that lying isn't necessarily bad. Yeah. But I think, but I think if I put that amount of effort just into school, I right. would have done just good, as, good in school. I would have gotten the grades that I lied about. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. And then this is crazy. I don't wow. want to take over the. No, I'm just fascinated because again, so, my my experience very vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. You're like you're like the BDSM of high school. This is cool. <laughs> I'm like, yo, missionary is cool with me. And you're like, let's fucking choke. And I'm like, dude, I'm good. <laughs> Hit me. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm good. Dude, the the <laughs> night uh, before my college so graduation, funny. yeah, I went to a graduation party with my oh, then very cool. girlfriend. Sick. And uh, oh my god, bro, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> like, uh, I get there. And it's this, it's my girlfriend's friend and he's having his graduation party at his sister's new house. It's okay. like a nice house. Okay, and like, okay. It's like a new house. They just got like a new Audi. Right. You know? Ooh, okay. And so uh, we go there and then I get way too drunk. Whoa, cool. You're drinking in high school. Very cool. No, this is college. Oh, college. This sorry, college. sorry. My yeah, bad, my yeah. bad, my bad. Okay, okay. And I'm a super senior, so I'm way past drinking <laughs> age. <laughs> And so that Damn. wasn't a problem. The problem was was whenever it was time to go, I still had a couple of more, a couple of you know drinks Drinkies? in me. A little nightcap. Yeah, Oops. yeah. So uh, and it's Texas, so you know everybody's kind of drinking and driving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so so uh, I get in my car. Girlfriend gets in my car. You're and driving. Then, yeah. Oh my. God. Like I, I I back out. Well, I don't. I did not drink and drive that night. Okay. Well, not far. Because okay. <laughs> as I'm pulling out of the um, like lot, uh-huh. I'm scraping against the my Whoa. like the new Audi. Whoa! The brand no. new Audi. I'm scraping across it. Yeah, yeah. 
And then uh, and you lock in and you drive all the way. And home. then like I was like I couldn't get out. Like it was one oh, of those scrapes stuck. where like you, the only way to get out of it scrape it again. Is to scrape it Let's again. Let's go. So like I'm doing that and then like oh, I'm picturing God. like from inside the party. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a, dude! It's a it's a record scratch sound, but yeah, then yeah. it's a freeze frame. <laughs> it's it's the sound of the record scratch, yeah, a real life record scratch. But instead of a record, it's two cars, cars. scratching <laughs> against it, and it's the host of the party and her new audience. Yeah, and um, and you look at camera, you look at camera too, yeah, the one yeah. that doesn't exist. You go, probably wonder how I got here. And so, <laughs> you're that, so drunk. <laughs> so the next morning, you think you're in a movie. <laughs> the next morning, I'm fucking stressed out about my car I'm like wow. hungover and Wait, so you did drive home how'd you get home i drove home oh yeah that's okay yeah yeah okay without incident yeah you locked in at, the, at yeah. that point you're like yeah, you're yeah sober I, locked up. In, I locked in yeah the adrenaline <laughs> from that really woke me up and uh that's crazy. yeah so if you're ever too drunk to drive a good move is scrape, just scrape, scrape your car immediately in right. the parking lot and then the adrenaline will kick in wow and you'll drive home no problem wow but anyways the next the next wow. day at my graduation i'm so stressed yeah. so i'm worried about my fucking car and like oh like well, my parents oh, hadn't okay. seen oh, it's it all yet. coming together my parents hadn't seen it yet but wow. they were gonna find out wow okay yeah you know? so uh, eventually did they find they found out uh, yeah i came clean day to of my dad like a few days later whoa i'm like hey uh you know i like scratched the car the other night scratched my car and then um, he he was like, were you drinking? <gasps> oh, shit. And then I said, no. Oh, shit. And then he asked me what happened. And I said, ah, it's embarrassing, but we were leaving a party, and my girlfriend was giving me a hand <laughs> job <laughs> in the car. <laughs> she was giving me a hand job. I was trying to drive home, and yeah. then I got so distracted, I screamed. I scratched up another car. Yeah, you were coming. And then my dad was like, okay. <laughs> he actually fist bumped you. He was like, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was like, he was like proud. You're going to be fine out there in the world. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Isn't that crazy? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. We, he still doesn't know. He still thinks you got a hand job. No idea. <laughs> he, he thinks I got a hand job and... And he doesn't think I graduated college. Wow, <laughs> that whole that honestly, whole hon- weekend was a blur for my dad. <laughs> honestly, I I'm sort of on your dad's side. Like I like you you being who you, you are. You thought it was cool that I was getting a hand job? No, no, no. no. Well, <laughs> yes. If that was if that were true, I'd be like, that's kind of sick, son. Yeah. But if I were your dad and I knew you were this kind of mischievous kid, I wouldn't be sure if you had done anything in your life. My parents had no idea that I was okay. like that. Okay, like I was always like a golden child. And they still don't know until they listen to this episode, obviously. Yeah, they until still, they still don't it. really know anything. <laughs> Sounds like your parents need to go to school. Yeah. They need to learn. So I was doing stuff like that, but I Jesus wasn't like Christ. doing drugs and dying right. at, outside gas station. Yeah, but, yeah, you yeah. know, I was just like a little, a little mischief. Yeah. A yeah. Little mischief. Mm-hmm. To make your life good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds I have fun. a lot of regrets about college and graduation. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I was like coming in, I'm like, I don't, have, I don't know, I have nothing. That was Pretty yeah. Chill. That's the part of my life that I think I have the most regrets about. Who Who was your graduation speaker? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh man, good question. I can't, I can't really remember. It was nobody good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was it U of H? There's no way you guys are getting fucking celebrities. <laughs> no, was it Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, that's a good one. That's a celeb. I don't remember, man. You're so hungover. You're too worried about the car. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't remember. Who wow. was yours? Maya Rudolph from SNL. What? Oh, yeah? She got most she likely got, to be on SNL. She got most likely to be on SNL. <laughs> no, she got most likely to be Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't she married to somebody? Paul Thomas Anderson, PTA. Right, power couple. right, right. Yeah, that is yeah I think couple. Paul Thomas Anderson may have cheated on Fiona Apple with Maya Rudolph. Now that I think about it. And Paul Thomas Anderson. No, no, that's Wes Anderson. He's a Houston guy. <laughs> oh, that's right. 
Yeah. We're we're detracting. Yeah, my graduation pretty vanilla. Nothing interesting happened. Uh, I will say a lot of people drank before, like the night before. And, and you did not because you're allergic. No, it was a tradition to get to stay up all night drinking. They call it tequila sunrise. And you, you drink tequilas outside the bar next to the campus. And then everyone hangs out there and like reminisces about college and, and cries. And it's actually pretty sweet. It's actually a pretty sweet tradition. Yeah. And then, uh, but I didn't do that. I kind of hung out at my apartment with all my friends who were there. Uh, one of them, my good friend Grayson, he actually lives in New York City. Oh, cool. He uh, spent the week, he, he's younger than us, but he spent graduation week because we, you know, graduation week, like the seniors stay an extra week so yeah. they can like hang out and like, that was an awesome week. Great week, hung out all, all week with our pals. Um, yeah, I remember he, this is not really a blunder, kind of a funny story though. He would <laughs> get drunk every single night with all the senior, his senior friends and crash at our house and <laughs> sleep on our couch but he would get naked every single night <laughs> so he would just be naked uh, i have a great i have a great picture uh, i think of him and uh our other roommate who, who was also uh a senior but also got very drunk and them just looking insane in my house empty Both house naked? everything was packed up no she didn't get naked it was a woman uh, uh, but he was naked i saw his dick and balls many times and he would just walk around grabbing his balls and just cry crying be like i'm gonna miss you guys so much <laughs> I miss you guys so much. <laughs> like forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just be naked, not in a sexual way. Again, yeah. he would just he just likes being he just doesn't like wearing clothes. <laughs> so he would just <laughs> What a fucking baby. Yeah. Uh and I remember vividly one <laughs> the night before graduation, uh my friends were in my roommate's room, kinda hanging out. We're like sitting on the bed, everyone's just laying on the bed, and he was just there naked on the bed, just everyone just laying on the bed, just kinda hanging out reminiscent about college and then we all went you're to all in the bed and he's there naked yeah but again not a sexual thing we just we're just so desensitized by him that it wasn't yeah <laughs> it I wasn't weird so. <laughs> it was just like oh yeah that's grayson <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's interesting very fine <laughs> yeah no blunders. whatever happened to that guy he lives in new york actually oh grayson grayson lives in the oh which which guy naked guy yeah grayson he lives in new york city <laughs> He's actually, uh, I don't see him very often. Yeah. He was actually in Philly when we were in Philly because he was at WrestleMania. He's the that, one I told you that, about. That's very Grayson. Very Grayson. Yeah, that's very on par for him. Uh, does very well with the ladies, I'll tell you that much, because he is shameless, and that's what you need to be good with the ladies. He's got a big old dick. Uh, pretty average size, I would say. Bigger than mine, but I'm pretty small, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, he lives in New York. He's actually, not to blow up a spot, but he is a talent agent. And uh, not gonna give, not gonna give me a <laughs> a talent hand job. I'll tell you that much. He doesn't help me out at all. <laughs> oh, why not? Uh, I think for a lot of reasons. What, it's like I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll, I'll tell you off off pod. These are my theories. You I literally wanna... have naked pictures of them. Yeah, Blackmail okay. this dude. That's nah. what that's what college Victor would there's do. A, okay, there's a few <laughs> reasons. I don't want to get too into it because I think uh, one, he works. He personally works in like the podcast space. We have a podcast, but he works. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> but what his whole thing is his no his whole thing is he takes TikTok people and he makes them podcasters. Does that make sense? Okay. So like you know Bobby Altoff. She's yeah. the mom with giant boobs. She talks to rappers. I find her extremely attractive. She so that's like one of his clients. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what he does. <laughs> Let's get Drake on here. <laughs> Help us out. So or at least P Diddy. I think he's in okay. our range now. Yeah, he uh he needs some clout. He needs to. Here's here's his PR move. He well, I think this episode pod. has potential, <laughs> and since he was name dropped here, I think you should Grace give this episode a listen. He should. Um, and then. Uh, no, I don't. I also don't like asking my send f- our episode to Dude, Bobby I Altoff. A, I have a few. I have a few high powered friends, talent agent friends. I really do, and I don't. I I feel weird asking them for a favor because I feel like I'm not. I don't know. It just feels weird. I don't know. You know, what would be a good move. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe maybe this is just me spitballing. It's like instead of asking them directly, like, "Hey, will you manage me or whatever?" What if yeah. you ask them, like, "Hey, do you know somebody who, who could like manage?" Me? Okay. So they probably hook you up with somebody kind of on their level, right. like, In their league. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But am I ready for that? I don't know. There's people far <laughs> lesser than us who no, the answer are is doing yes, you're just ready. fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the right, answer right. is you are ready. We've all We're been all ready. ready. Anyway, yeah. yeah, Grayson's a cool dude, good pal of mine. I haven't seen him in a while, but uh, I saw his dick and balls a lot. I'll tell you that much. Pro- 
pre graduation. <laughs> Grayson, <laughs> if you don't take care of us boys, we're gonna leak the photos. Yeah, he honestly. That's he, how you make it in this business. Here's the thing, he wouldn't care. He'd be like, "Sure, dude, leak them. <laughs> we'll shrink your penis." <laughs> He's like, "That's fine." He doesn't care. Look, this you heard what I could do with Microsoft Paint. <laughs> yeah. You'll copy and paste some other dick. <laughs> I'll copy and paste Art's penis there onto your penis. There we go. And then we'll leak it. And then uh, and be like, "Wow, there's so much foreskin." <laughs> are you Are you cut? I'm just yanking. Oh yeah, I'm cut. Oh no, uncut. <laughs> You're uncut. <laughs> yeah, baby. Wow. I'm uncut and I yank it, so it's even longer. I love foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> you yank it. <laughs> I yank it so hard. And I'm you stretch stretching. It? I'm stre- I'm yanking. I'm stretch. I'm cranking. <laughs> I want the longest foreskin. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be hard, and they have to be like, "Where is it?" <laughs> it's, just, it's just. They're like, "Where's the penis head?" It's you know, just it's draping re- off. <laughs> the foreskin just drape. I actually don't know how foreskin works. Yeah, it's it's literally just skin that it 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 retracts when you get hard. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. But not mine. Again, mine's so long. <laughs> You know, women are like, you can't find the clit. Find my dickhead. <laughs> I think we just shot any chance of Grayson <laughs> helping us out. I know, I'm having fun. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> no, it is funny. Yeah. Look, I think it's crazy how I can't. You know, like the body positivity movement stops when I get to talk about my dick. All right. Why does? Why can't I talk about my dick in a funny way? In a I, fun no, way. I think I think it's fine. I don't know. I have women telling me left and right, "Ew, <laughs> stop sending me these pics." <laughs> Nah, I keep my That's dick crazy. to you, probably could, you could probably take some crazy dick pics. With <laughs> yeah, with a foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my dick in a bow. <laughs> yeah. That's where I keep my loose change. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't do that. I don't do that. No, I'm cut up. My yeah, shit you're is, cut? My shit oh, is mutilated, Catholic. brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can regrow that. I, can, I know a guy. I legitimately know a guy. Nah, my shit ain't doing much growing. <laughs> You got to crank and yank, baby. <laughs> yeah. Why do we always talk about dicks at the end of this? Because we're two boys. Yeah. I, I think if we can avoid it for like an hour, I think that's <laughs> pretty good, actually. We edge ourselves for an hour. <laughs> now we get to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Anyway, Is there anything graduation. else that we could talk about with graduation? Anything that we could redo? I think I think graduation's kind of a scam. I think high school graduation's kind of fun. Go to it. Go to a high school graduation. Oh, I go to as many as I can. Because all the yeah, women are young, scouting. baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're about to go to gra- Are you excited to go to gra- these graduations? Uh, Not really, because okay. I, I have to pay yeah. to fly out there. And then I have to, like, I, I probably have to buy my sister a gift. Yeah. So that's another, like, you know, few hundred dollars probably. Ooh, so it's going to be expensive. And then... My my cousin, my law school cousin, his parents are throwing him a, a party. I was gonna say, did you? Uh, this is actually have a graduation. And party I called blunder. him. I called him, and then I asked him about his party. He's not even gonna be there. Be there? Wait, what? Yeah, he's like, well, he's apparently it's customary for like uh, yeah law school buddies to party. go get fucked up the day of graduation. So. Well, it's also customary if do you have high school graduation parties. Uh, I had a high school graduation party, and there you go. I That's had a, I had a college graduation party too. Oh, wow. And I left my college graduation party to host a, a weekend at the Improv. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of baller. Yeah, chasing those real dreams. Oh, like in, that's reflective of your high school or college experience. Oh yeah, that's yeah crazy. yeah. Dude, your life a movie, dude. <laughs> Full with motifs. Yeah, you hear that, Grayson? <laughs> yeah, literary devices. Yeah, you hear that, Grayson? My Sign life's this a guy. movie. My life's a podcast. I have a I have one slight blunder about graduation party uh, uh, that I'll bring up. Let me know what you think. So. Okay. High school graduation, I felt pressured to have a, gr- a graduation party, right? And I was like, oh, mom, you have restaurants. Can we just have a graduation party at your restaurant? Sure. You cook a bunch of food. It'll be cheap for all of us. And, like, you don't have to, we don't have to rent out to space. People can just swing by, hang out, eat, leave, right? Yeah. So this happens. My friends come by. It was pretty chill, good time, kind of awkward, as they are. Parents come by, all that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, three people walked in. Well, people were coming in thinking it was, like, a... Uh, like a open for business day, but we're closed on days. They just thought <laughs> right. it was open. They yeah. were like, oh, sorry. And they usually left. They like peaced out. Okay. Right. right. No, that's normal. No, they're... I know. I'm just thinking about where the story is going to go. So, okay. So then three people that I went to middle school with came in. All mm. right. And they saw me. And these guys were like stoners. <laughs> they were 
famously stoners, right? Yeah. So I think they were pretty stoned when they came in. Haven't seen them since middle school. Again, I was in high school, right? Haven't seen them since middle school. And I go, oh, what's up, Paige and John? What are you guys up to? Like, how, how are you guys doing? They're like, oh, Art, so good to see you, man. What's going on? And I was like, oh, <laughs> like, you know, this is, uh, this is my graduation party. I was like, yeah. oh, sick, dude. Like, that's, yeah, congratulations, man. Hell yeah. And uh, I was like, so, like, what are you doing? And he was like, oh, we're just here to celebrate you, man. We're just hanging out with, for you, man. Congrats. But they, they were. They just wandered in. They wandered in. <laughs> they tried to, they like, got, place an order. They got it. Anyways, uh, what do we get a pad thai? Yeah, yeah, yep. 100% what happened. <laughs> We got a plate of food. And wow. I, let, I just let it happen. Wait, but they got a plate of food. Uh, just let it happen. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't like place an order. No, they, no, no. They okay. were, well, there's a, there was a ton of food, dude. There yeah. was a ton of food. It, nah, it would have been funny if they went to the counter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, can we made your order? mom go to the back and whip something up. No, they rizzed me up and they and it worked. And I was like, grab a plate of food, sit wherever you guys want. So good to see you guys. Thank you for coming to my graduation party. So sweet. So funny, man. So uh, yeah, they all sat there. And, and it was and clearly uh, awkward. They were like, and of course, you so never heard from them again. Never. Again. Well, one of them actually does watch. Died outside a gas station. One of them, I don't follow one of them, and they oh. do watch my Instagram stories. So, Paige, oh yeah, I'm watching you, buddy. Damn. Damn. Anyway, that's my only only real blunder. My life's perfect. Your life sucks. You didn't go to school. I did. I'm smart. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. That'll be the clip. That'll be the clip. It's <laughs> a good summary of uh, our lives <laughs> in this pod. Ah, you're a smart guy. We're all here in the same place. We're living the same dream. We're all here in the same place in Art's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like 60 people living here. <laughs> Damn. All walks of life. Yeah. I, I, I learned a lot about you in this ep- This is cool. Yeah. Grad school, <laughs> I don't think right I'm going to do, do it. That. Yeah. I will say grad school, uh, what I learned was pretty cool. See, mm-hmm. did you like? You didn't like learning. I love learning. I didn't love learning. I, 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 do, like, I do like learning. Learning's fun. I that's just don't like part. sitting in class. Yeah, but sometimes you learn something so sick in class. Like you're like, whoa, that's how like laminar flow works. Like That's how like air goes against like a plane wing. That's crazy. Oh, you know? but you, you were like a uh, uh, engineering major. Yeah. Did some, but yeah, like it I was be, a fucking political science major. But you could have, you should have chosen something more interesting. Oh, here's a, here's a blunder. Okay. I graduated with a degree in political science. Yeah. And then, uh, Trump got elected <laughs> and all of the poll, all of the polling methods that we studied. Oh, you studied poll. That's pretty cool. Like all the, yeah, all of those <laughs> methods. And then like, uh, you know, just like the structure of like politics and like policy making. Yeah. Like all of that became moot. Like the year sure. I graduated, sure. all of that meant nothing. Right. That's like if I was a physics major and the year I graduated, they were like, actually, gravity's not real. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure you learned like how like systems worked, like a parliamentary system versus a democratic system versus like how like campaigning works, how like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, systems. I can't recall anything. Like if... Yeah. if if people have a, a discussion with me about politics today, I literally, I don't know what's going on. And that's okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't learn, I don't use engineering information. Oh, okay. So, it's whatever. But yeah. I will say, grad grad degree does help you get it, your foot in the door for a better job. I'll tell you that much. Of course it does. Yeah. Yeah. Even though like, I do not, none of that information, I use I use none of it. Yeah. I just know if I were to go back to school, I, I'm a horrible student. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are grad online schools you could do. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, we're too late. You're right. You're right. You're right. Why well, do that when I get podcast my way into a million dollars? Podcast million dollars. You can focus your time boxing, playing soccer. Like, those are. that's what life's about. How do we get school. Bobby Altoff on this podcast? <laughs> I feel like it's time for her to pay it back. She's also single. I mean, you're taking, but she's single. Yeah. You'll well, risk it all. E- even, no, risk I, it all. I, even, like, <laughs> uh, even more reason for her to come on this podcast. She's safe. Right. We're taking. She's safe. She's safe. We're not going to be creeps We're about so- it. Well, you're most likely to be creeps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Let's wrap it up, Foreskin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for listening. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.